Hey guys, Vito Soli here, and today I'm going to be doing a streaming slash editing portable PC build. And I'm doing this build because I've needed a build for like traveling. Let's say I'm going far away and I need to edit this video while I'm on the go. Or if I'm going over to like one of my friend's house, like let's say I'm going over to like BDG's house and I need to like capture footage so I can bring it home and edit or edit while I'm on the go. So I decided to build a small portable computer. Uh, some of you are like, you should just get a laptop. I'm like, laptops, first of all, they degrade like pretty quickly. I, I personally think so. Small portable computer will last much longer than the laptop and it will have much, much better cooling. And this is some of the builds that I've done in the past. My most favorite one, my gaming PC which has a pretty good spec list of parts, which I'll be leaving a list next to the computer. So you guys can see the parts that I have on the computer for my gaming computer. And the next one coming up, my streaming computer. This is what I use to like either stream or record or capture. So let's say one computer so happens to like fail. I have another computer like recording, so I'll be fine. So it's good to have as a back, like to be safe when you're recording or live streaming or anything. So that's why I have that. And the next one being my brother's computer. This was a fun project too, because my brother started from like some old Optiplex and now this is what he has. It's pretty cool. And his setups also changed too. And uh, my, my sister also has a build, but I don't, I don't currently have it or the spec list, but I'll be showing you that build maybe in the future. I love building computers. That's why I like I I love tinkering with computers. It's so fun. It's like it's the best hobby for me. Sometimes I like it better than gaming, believe it or not. I just love tinkering with computers. And now I'll be talking about the parts that I chose for my mini PC build. For my mini PC build, I'll be going with an i9 10900K and that one's for LGA 1200 socket. And the reason why I'm going with this is it's a really good processor for the price. And especially if you can get it on sale, it's a really good deal. Like eight cores, 16 threads. It's, it's great for the price. And I can get a lot of work done on this i7. So that's why I chose this processor. And to pair it with, I got an MSI MPG B560i which is actually a really good motherboard. And I got it because like it has a lot of features for, for an ITX motherboard. And it was definitely cheaper than the ROG ITX motherboards. And it's like, I get that's the ROG, but it's an ITX motherboard. I'm not gonna be looking at it. So I went with this MSI one instead. And to pair it with, I also got a GTX Gigabyte 1660, but That'll be changed to a 3060 when I upgrade the my graphics card to my main computer, pass it down to my brother, and then I get the 3060 that he's currently using in his machine. And to power the 3060, I got a Cooler Master 550 watt fully modular gold power supply. And you're probably wondering, it's a full size ATX power supply. How is that gonna fit in the mini build? Well, the case I got was a Silverstone SG13 and that actually fits a full-size power supply and that case it it's really it's actually really cool like I think it's really cool like for the amount of stuff you can put in it I think it's pretty cool and you're probably wondering how am I gonna fit the cooler well I got a Noctua NHL9i chrome black cooler and that thing these coolers are really known for cooling like really well and it's a knock to a cooler those coolers are very good they come with high quality fans and like they're like built to cool properly and don't and it'll work perfectly fine for my i7 and for the ram i went with an xpg game game x duo 32 gig kit 216 gig sticks and I went with that because I wanted to, my computer to have a lot of RAM because 
like you know streaming and editing on that machine i wanted to make sure like you know it was powerful enough and it had enough ram to do a lot of tasks because i would need to do a lot if i'm traveling i need to like use it as a streaming computer while i'm traveling so that's why i put a lot of ram in the computer and for the price it was a really good deal so that's why i picked this 32 gig kit up for this computer and finally for the storage i went with a western digital green one terabyte SS SATA SSD. I didn't go with a um M.2 because this was actually on sale and it was much cheaper and it's like it's not it's not going to make a big difference. It's really not. Like as long as you have a good boot like SSD from a like as long as you have an SSD, it's fine. And this is good enough. I don't need to have like a a high-end like M.2. This is not my gaming computer. My gaming computer has all the high-end parts, so I don't need to, like, make that the same thing for this portable computer. This portable computer needs to be powerful and, you know, reasonably priced. So that's why I chose this, all the parts I did, including this SSD. And here's a time-lapse of my mini PC build. I hope you enjoy.
And here it is. A little beast itself. I'm actually proud of this little build. It might be little, but man, this thing is powerful. <laughs> this thing's a beast for the size. Not as beastly as my freaking gaming computer over there, but this thing is a little beast in its own rights. I'm proud of this little beast, and I can't wait to use this when I travel. Much better than a laptop. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, it might be portable, but this, this thing will last a lot longer than a laptop. So, no thank you, laptops. I'm sticking with PC for life. Laptops might be portable, but nope. Can't beat the power of this. So, yeah. And it's cheaper than a laptop. So, I'm glad I chose to build this mini build. And thank you guys for actually watching this mini build. And... You know checking out the other pcs that i was showing you earlier i've actually wanted to show you guys what you know some of the stuff that i've built because i'm proud of the pcs i've built they look pretty cool i know the streaming computer is a little messy the one down there the one that's currently recording on this camera but you know it's it's a streaming computer you know in the future i'll probably clean it up and make it better but this little box right here this powerful beast i can't this I'll make sure to maintain better because this I have to travel with. The one on the bottom is just meant for streaming at home. So yeah, thank you guys for for watching this amazing PC build. And I'm actually proud of it. And I hope you guys see the other videos that will be coming up soon next time.